Hey, what's going on guys, Dignal here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to edit like Excel. Uh, I'm very excited for this tutorial. Uh, so pretty much what I'm going to be showing you is the effect that you've just seen on screen, obviously. It's going to be the little fucking butterflies and, you know, the cool blur and the shake and everything. I'm going to show you how to do all that. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into the tutorial. Uh, I've already got my clip set up here, obviously, along with the non-copyrighted music, uh, which is very good for my ad revenue. So, uh... As you can see, I've keyframed the kill here. It's right when you know the the shot hits. Quite cool. And uh, pretty much what you're gonna want to do is go into the description and download the preset that is down there. Uh, pretty much what I've done is I've uh, I'm very sorry about this Excel if you're watching this video. Uh, I fucking love you, man. But I have gone frame by frame through uh, through a uh, Who Fishy video, and I have copied his shake. So um, just go ahead and go down there and download the preset. And what you're gonna want to do is just mark a kill, go three frames back, one, two, three, split the uh, the clip, and click on the effects tool and uh, apply the Dignal Excel Blue pre or preset. Now, as you can see here, I've already sort of prepared the effects. So I'm just gonna go through them uh, with you guys before I actually uh, start with the uh, the butterfly things. So down here, I've just got the shake set up. Uh, spent a little while on this. Uh, it's got some some screen pump as well as you know some Y shakes. I don't think he uses anything else really. Uh, I got some flicker because you know he uses that, and I've got some blur which is sort of unique to him. I would say most people make fun of it, but it fucking works for him somehow. And I've also gone and applied some magic bullet looks where I have ranged HSL'd <laughs> the uh, the blues in the uh, the picture. Uh, which means that if I go to the kill, uh, the blues will be highlighted and everything else will be sort of desaturated. Uh, so yeah, once you've done that, you're going to want to go ahead and make a new video track right here. And you're going to apply this big track right here uh, that I downloaded straight from YouTube uh, that contains the butterflies. So uh, they will be about here. So they will be like 50 seconds in. And just go ahead and go to the start here. Just you don't need to be perfect. You sort of split the clip right there and there. I could do this for you guys, but I'm too lazy. So you're gonna have to do it yourselves. And you just go ahead and drag it forward. Uh, just apply some velocity. Set it to like 230 percent. I'd say roughly 230. Go to the marker and set it to where sort of the butterflies are coming up, just like that. And then just go ahead and split it right there, and just sort of uh, fade it out. Uh, towards the end here and fade it in as well and as you can see if I go ahead and pre-render this uh, and you also need to change the blending mode to add you can you might have to click up here and click on uh, well it'll say composition settings but mine is right here so I just change that to add which will remove the black background and as you can see As you can see, uh, there will be a sort of effect on that. Uh, obviously, the last thing I need to do is add the velocity. So uh, for this preset, you will need to go uh, three frames. You needed to go three frames back to split it. That means you need to go three th three frames forward. Apply three hundred percent. One, two, three forward from that, and apply fifty. And as you can see, uh, let me go ahead and. Uh... Yep, there we go. It's quite cool. Uh, now, one last thing you need to do is actually go into your video effects tab right here and search for blur. And just go ahead and drag S blur, the default, onto the butterflies and set it to 0, 0,08, which is sort of a good uh, good mid range right there. And that is to actually add a, a little bit of blur to the butterflies, which makes the uh, the whole thing just blend together so that the, uh, the butterflies don't have sharp lines and the clip has blur. So, you know, it's sort of to blend those two together. But as you can see. Right, one last thing you need to actually do is apply the whoosh that is also in the description. Completely forgot to mention that uh, in the one take that I did. Uh, so just go ahead and apply whoosh 12 uh, right here. Just go and reverse it and just like apply it sort of like that. And it should sound something like this. There we go, it should sound something like that. Yeah, once again, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, all that good shit, and I'll catch you guys in a couple days, and peace.